friends, it's Nina. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new here. I would love if you can subscribe and join our little family. As you can see by the title for today's video, I'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks on how to be more organized and productive in your day. These are just things that I've learned throughout the years as a college student while also having a lot of extracurriculars and having to juggle just a lot of things at once. These are things that I've learned that help me. So a little disclaimer, um, this might not work for everybody. If it doesn't work for you, that is completely fine. I'm just showing some tips and tricks to hopefully help some people and you can always put your little your own twist on these ideas and then just find what works for you so that you can have a better year and be a little more organized this year. I had one request for this video um, from my friend Nicole so I thought it was a great way to kick off 2021 with a nice organization video with some tips and tricks so let's just get right into it. So my first tip is to find what works best for you whether that is digital planners and to-do lists that are on your computer or on your phone or whether it's hard copy. So I use a little bit of both. Hard copy is my lifesaver. I have different planners for everything. So this is actually like my YouTube notebook. So anything that I do for video production or video ideas, I put in here so that I can keep track of it in this notebook. I also have this notebook, which I have a little secret project in here that I am working on, um, which will hopefully be coming out soon. So I don't wanna give any spoilers yet, but this is something that I've been working on for a very long time. And all these notebooks, by the way, are from like TJ Maxx and Marshalls and they're super affordable, like three, four bucks each. And for me, it works to have separate notebooks for each thing that I'm involved in. For example, um, this is my planner. So this is for school strictly. I put all of my assignments in it, um, test dates, due dates for projects, presentation dates, anything academic related goes into here and I like to keep it separate from any type of extracurriculars so that I don't get confused. I also use a desk calendar and I 100% recommend this especially if you're a college student. It helps so much. I usually, so as you can see January is empty, I haven't filled it out yet, but I usually put appointments, um, meetings, anything at all on here and this is the only place where I combined all of my academics and my extracurriculars so I can put like exam dates on here, doctor's appointments, um, when I have meetings for club meetings at school, things of that nature. So just anything. I also put birthdays on here for people. It's like a nice way to keep track. The, these are a lifesaver. I started using this freshman year of college. I'm now a junior and I still get one every single year. Um, they keep me sane. They help me so much. So if you are a college student or going into college soon, I highly re recommend trying a desk calendar because it will definitely keep you organized. So my next tip is to use Outlook's calendar. So if you have an Outlook email for school or for work, there is actually a calendar setting underneath the email and it's super helpful. You can look at the month, the week, work week, as well as just a singular day. And you can also color code anything that you add into the calendar. So here I'm going to be showing you like I'm just pretending to add a doctor's appointment so you can subject it, you can put a location, you can set the date and time as well as the duration of how long that appointment or meeting will be. And once you save that, it will go into your calendar. My second tip for you guys is to set aside time to plan and create to-do lists, fill in your planners anything of that nature. To set, being able to set aside that time to get everything out of your head that's in your schedule onto paper or onto your laptop or your phone and some sort of calendar or notes app or in a planner will really help you declutter your mind and have a little less stress on your shoulders. That is something that I highly recommend. For example, for me, I wake up every morning um, and I create a to-do list. I have this journal that my sister actually got me, I think for her birthday present or something a few little while back. It says, stay focused because you totally got this. So I actually put a to-do list in this every single morning and I cross off the to-do list um, as I go throughout my day. So I can, it helps me visualize and see that I am getting things done. I am being productive. 
And then it also reminds me of things that I need to still get done in the day because sometimes I'm very forgetful. So sometimes I kind of forget like what I really need to do. Um, so I would definitely set aside time to do that. This is my little tip and what I do. I wake up and I create a to-do list every day. For me, it's super helpful. So if that is something that sounds helpful to you, please try it because my friend actually told me about this idea of getting up every morning and writing a to-do list out and it has helped me immensely. It definitely helped me last semester and it's something that I'm going to be doing next semester as well. So I 10 out of 10 recommend setting aside time to plan. My third tip for you guys is to prioritize your to-do list. So make sure that what's at the top of your list is something that is very important and really needs to get done in the day. Don't fill your list with a bunch of things that are impossible to get done in a day. I would say max for my to-do list I let myself have is around six to ten things on the list and towards the bottom they become more nitty-gritty and things that if I don't get done it's okay and I can push it to the next day. So don't overwhelm your to-do list, definitely prioritize, make sure your top three are things that are absolutely necessary to get done in that day um, or in that week, however you want to make your to-do list and your plans so that you can make sure you get it done and then when you get it done you can move on to the less important things so that you aren't getting all these unnecessary things done and then you're stressed later on because you haven't gotten the important things done. So that is one of my biggest tips is to prioritize what you need to get done. I used to procrastinate a lot and I would think I was getting things done on my list but there were actually things that weren't super important and didn't need to be done in that day. So I recommend prioritizing because that will 100% help you just like actually get what you need to get done in the day on time and efficiently because that's something that has helped me ever since I started prioritizing and shortening my to-do list. My fourth tip for you guys is to separate your involvements. So as I showed you guys earlier, I have a different planner or notebook for everything that I'm involved in. Um, I have my academic planner, I have a notebook of a little project I'm working on, I have a notebook for YouTube, I have a desk calendar for just everything that I have going on in my month. I also use Outlook Calendar, which that's more academic related and like school meetings, um, club meetings, project meetings for classes, anything of that nature. So I have a bunch of different things that I utilize that help me separate and compartmentalize everything that I need to get done and what I have going on in my day or my week or even my month because um, sometimes I do plan a full month or two ahead. So that is something I highly recommend like if you ha have school and if you have sports or school meetings or club meetings or a job anything like that I definitely recommend separating it because if you have one planner that has everything in it you will definitely get overwhelmed so it makes more sense for me at least to separate it so that everything can be very neat and organized and nothing gets lost in the mix my fifth tip for you guys is to maintain a clean working environment um, so whether that's cleaning your room or cleaning your desk before you start working. For me, getting up every morning and making my bed and just like kind of tidying up the room really helps me have a more productive day overall, even if I don't have that much to do in the day. Um, so I recommend getting up, making your bed, just getting dressed for the day, even if you're not leaving the house can also help. And just giving yourself a nice clean environment to help motivate you to be a little more productive. Um, I've learned that if it's my room's messy, my bed's unmade, I'm more likely to just get back in bed and just lay down and do nothing. So I recommend getting up and just making your bed and cleaning your room a little bit. This seems a little self-explanatory, however, it's something that you might forget sometimes and it's such a small thing, but it makes a world of a difference. My sixth and final tip for you guys is to journal and self-reflect whether that is bullet journaling just doodling um, any type of journaling will help it's something that I've started recently and I have completely fallen in love with this is more of a tip to help you stay productive rather than organized um, I got this journal recently called Zena's fork um, I got it from Barnes & Noble if you guys saw that in my last video on my vlog and I have been doing one of the journal prompts every day since January has started, so the last four days. And it's so nice to just clear your head, take a minute, shut off your electronics, and just write. I recommend journaling in any way, shape, or form that it suits you, whether it's 
bullet journaling, um, a journal like this that has prompts, a plain notebook and you just write whatever you're feeling that day, anything like that. Um, I know that online too there's a bunch of journals probably that you could find and that could also help you as well. So I recommend just finding a way to kind of release your thoughts. That's my biggest tip. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope that you could at least get one or two things out of this video to help with your New Year's resolutions and just help you have a more motivated, productive lifestyle. Um, I love organization. I love anything of that nature. So if you want to see more videos like this, please let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below what else you would like to see. Follow me on the socials, Instagram and TikTok. And that's all. Have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.